It was really me and my brother isolated in a, in a, a room in the corner of a factory. Um, days on end, you know, disconsidering any kind of commitments towards building anything really, money wise, uh, future wise, and just sort of creating something that was what it was. Uh, how, it's, how it's developed into the people I work with now, it's uh, Ralph Phillips, it's Dan Lin, and it's Jason Fiddler. And the reason it's those three people is because those are the three people that could actually put the time in to uh, focus a devotion of the music. At this moment, uh, my favourite song, and maybe always, I mean, is, is, is Black City. It's my pure depiction of my surroundings and, and where, I, where, I, where I'm from and what I experience. And the spirit of the city, everything really is created as a melting pot, you know, it's like a real fucking um, uh, spawning of a lot of, a lot of creative energy. I'm not talking artistic creative, I'm not talking fucking yuppie creativity or like fashion or anything, I'm talking creativity and sort of in terms of people's energy to make a movement. And with that, what does that mean sort of like feeding your five children if you're a single mother or, or, um, or setting up a shop that, sell, that cuts hair or anything. It's just like an energy that people have towards being, making a, making a stand and saying, this is my home, I love this place. And it's that love that people have that makes a place great and gives place, a place culture. And the Black City is the people right at the bottom of the fucking pile. I think if you really set out to make money in art, you're really on a gamble, and if that is your ultimate goal, you're really lost. I think we're, we're brave. Being brave does one thing, is it? it, it in particular, is that it um, enforces instant results in terms of uh, how it affects you. You know, what you, what you do affects you. If you sit back in the shadows and fiddle around and piss around, and you don't really get instant results. It's like a lot. It's stretched out. You know, you don't really put yourself out on the front line. Curtains, I suppose, just because it's so relentless. It's, uh, it's like uh, it's like coming up. Do you know, uh, Do you relate to it, man? Yeah, I suppose so. Yeah, yeah. Um, why? Why? Because I like coming. Up. It's like uh, it's just you know it's just a relentless thing. It's, even though it starts hectic, it ends hectically. It, within that, it kind of it just it sort of sweeps and swoons or whatever. It's a real battering for for the audience. Um, I'm still feeling positive about it, really. I mean, tonight was a good show. Last night wasn't so great, but then it was, you know, it feels, yeah, it does feel like there's some momentum building now. People, like, you know, when a, when a gig's not promoted properly, you know, it's a shame, obviously, you know, we we promote as well, but, um, well, you know, when, when, they, when, you, when you look up and, you, you know, you're about to go on, there's, you know, there's no one there, it's like, what the, f what the fuck? Yeah. Well, what makes tonight better than last night? Like Mars and then his girlfriend? Just, it was just a different vibe, wasn't it? Yeah, maybe it was just that. Maybe it was just the fact that we'd experienced last night. We didn't want to go there again. You know, we wanted to like, do, you know, at least have... We decided to have a rehearsal, even though we wanted to just at least rehearse for Friday. Um, I don't think we've seen uh, New York yet, really. We, it feels like we're skirting on the outside of a circle, which is... You know, which we're trying to get into, which is the same as London. You know, I mean, you think you come here to like, start something new and afresh, and actually, it's it's, just, it's exactly the same. It's like some kind of worldwide consciousness, just being in an unsigned band or trying to break it. You can't get into um, that kind of loop where you need to, you know, that starts perpetuating itself to get. Uh, to get some sort of mass audience, it, it, uh, I don't really see it as, as as that kind of different to the rest of the stuff, really. It's not finished that yet, so it's no, it's it, you know, it's not finished. Um, I don't know. I, I like playing it. I, I I probably need to hear it. I reckon to hear it and not play it. Yeah. Yeah. A decent recording, you need. Yeah, <laughs> not just a mass recording. Of it. I can't. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't know really. Does I, I songs tend to. Um, uh, settle in you off the wall, you know, they don't, 
Uh, sometimes they're immediate. Other songs it takes it takes longer. It's pretty... I like like the Hunter, right? It's like our best song because it's like really jagged funk, you know, and, and that's just like what the piece is all about. You know? It's just like some really really twisted groove. Um, with like heaps of emotion. It's really dark, you know, which is kind of what the boots is all about. It's like, yeah, we got the funk, man, but we got like that kind of dark thing going on. You know, and, and yeah, and the, and the Hunter is just like full of blackness, uh, but it's got a really feel good kind of vibe going on. Oh shit, how do I feel about the tour so far? Um, well, can I be honest? Totally. Well, I'm not going to big it up. Um, it's been fairly disappointing. <laughs> but, there's a but in there. Uh, oh, well, I mean, it's great to be on tour with you guys. I mean, it's a really good experience. Uh, but let's face it, uh, the last two shows have been to a room of about ten people, you know, and uh, at least six of them I've known personally, um, which kind of makes it pointless. Um, so well, It's in another country, so... <laughs> yeah, big fucking deal. <laughs> Where are you are, man? Come on, there's got to be something positive about that. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I don't see that, man. Um, uh, the tour so far um, has been um, a waste of time. Uh, yeah, big things really. Uh, I mean, this is all just uh, messing around really because uh, we're a great band. Uh, we write killer songs. Fucking hell, I go out all the time. I see so many generic bands that sound like uh, like fucking 50 other bands, you know. Um, so I don't really worry about it, even though the tour so far has been like pretty disappointing. Uh, but I don't really care because uh, we're musicians and we're not promoters and we spend all our time writing good songs. And uh, in the end, if you spend all your time writing good songs, then you'll bust it. Um, and not everything we've done is great, um, but uh, our songs kick ass, um, and we have our own identity, and uh, you can't really shove it in a box, and uh, we always get good response, um, so as long as we just uh, spend our time writing good music, uh, you know, the rest will just happen. And, and you know what, even if it doesn't, like, who gives a fuck, really, because the whole point is to make and write good music, so, um, you know, I, I just don't really give a shit about that, but the point is, is that... Um, uh, it'll go somewhere just because it's good. I agree, man. Clowns is going in the right direction, you know. Um, Clowns is, you know, more and more it's getting away from the cheese and it's going more towards the kind of jagged grooves. Um, and that's where we really need to go. I mean, it's a bit uh, less digestible, you know, but in the end, um, that's what people will remember us for. Um, and, and to give credit to Ralph, um, that's been his vision since the very beginning. Um, and it's been a year and we're only just starting to realise that now. Um, in terms of the music, you know, um, it's kind of like a broken, it's a broken funk. He's trying to find a new thing. And, uh, and you know, the clown, like the hunter, is uh, getting a little bit closer. You know, I mean, we're not there yet, but, you know, like every song we write is getting a little bit closer. And the only reason I'm in the band is because I uh, really want to make and play good music. Um, so I'll pretty much spend the rest of my days writing and making good music. And, um, that's all that really matters.